January 3rd, baby. Fresh out the gym. Red Con 1. Nashville, Tennessee. Now. Yeah. Woke up this morning, early morning, ran some Amazon loads. Came to the gym. Worked out. We did chest and legs today. A little bit of cardio on the Stairmaster. I tell y'all what. If you want to get your uh, blood pressure down, you hop your fat butt on that Stairmaster. If you can even do more than five minutes on it, you know. That'll get your blood pressure back in check. But it's going to take you months of being on now, on that Stairmaster, you know, before you can actually do more than five minutes. On level seven or more. Don't be trying to get on there and do level one. Level seven or more. Anyways. So now that I'm making some small increments with Amazon, I'm not I'm not making a lot of money with Amazon. Small increments. It's side hustle money. It's Uber with a semi truck. It's DoorDash. It's not DoorDash. No, nah, it's, it's not just definitely not DoorDash. I was watching some DoorDash videos the other day. People talking about they, they taking orders for it. They only get four dollars. Did y'all see them videos? Them DoorDashes that be living in their car and talking about they taking meals from fast food restaurant to somebody's house, they only get four dollars? Whew, that's so sad. That is so sad. Don't forget to drink as much water as you can per day. Drop the sodas. Now, thinking about changing this YouTube channel around since it's a new year, I'm thinking about, you know, getting a little bit out of the trucking industry and using this YouTube channel to uh, do news and media. That's what I'm thinking about changing this channel into because the trucking industry is uh it's a dying industry. It's an industry that uh you know it's um uh, what's the words that I'm looking for? It's just a dying industry, that's all. It's just it's a dying industry and it's really not much to it, you know, uh some of you guys are asking me, because you see me do Amazon, you want to know, hey, Andrew, what's the uh, insurance requirement for Amazon? So, it's not that I don't want to tell you guys the insurance requirements, although it is on Amazon website. It's just that when I hear questions like that, what you're really asking me is, if you go buy a truck, and <laughs> you get starter authority, you get this ridiculous insurance quote, can you uh, make money with Amazon? probably gonna go out of business okay so instead of me asking those you know answering those type of questions I hey look I you gotta go on Amazon website learn about the insurance requirements because you got a lot of people are not in position to well whatever that low board say if it say you get two hundred dollars to go twenty two a lot of people is not getting the full two hundred dollars okay me it's just side hustle money I don't all of my equipment is paid off and I got a brand new engine in the blue truck. So all I gotta do is start the truck up, go collect the money and go back to the house. That's not everybody's situation. Yeah, no, that's, that's not everybody's situation. But the reason why, why I wanna do news and media is because I think it could bring more views to the channel and I'm trying to reach a new audience because like I said, this trucking industry is a dead industry, especially on YouTube, and it's very uh, segregated also. You know, you got people that own trucks versus people that, you know, uh, they don't want the title. They don't They don't want the title. They don't care nothing about the title. They just want to rent, lease, and borrow. It's nothing wrong with that. You know, uh, some of you guys sent me the Prime Inc. video about them doing hopper okay <clears throat> this is another reason why I try not to argue with lease drivers Prime Inc. just dropped a video on a Prime Inc. YouTube channel the man clearly stated that they purchased 
25 hopper trailers. They didn't go over to Great Dane, trying to get on some lease purchase program, trying to pay Great Dane $800 a week or nothing like that for them trailers. They said they purchased 25 trailers, hopper trailers. The reason they did that is because they went to a conference back in spring. They found some customers. So the customers asked them, will they be purchasing their own trailers? They, they looking for an asset-based carrier. Prime Eek is an asset-based carrier. JB Hunt, asset-based carrier. Night Transportation, asset-based. These are not, these companies are listed, not Prime Eek, but they, they private. But a lot of these trucking companies are listed on the stock market, on the stock exchange. They have to do, you know, uh, balance sheets. They have to report all that to the stockholders. No stockholder is going to invest in a company they don't own nothing. You just, the whole company is filled with debt. You owe everybody? Who wants to invest in that? Who wants to, what stock, would you take your money and give it to a company like, uh, let's just say, uh, just any company. They probably gonna take your money and use it. Man, they owe people. They gonna use your money to pay whoever they owe. Or you wanna invest in a company that you know, got profit, revenue, and things coming in like that. It's, look, it's not for me to explain. I'm just telling you what the man said. But, you know, some people take the word purchase as they, they rent the trailers. And I understand why would a multi-million dollar trucking company buy trailers out of their own pocket. I, I understand what you say. That's why I'm trying to get out of the trucking industry. You know, well, the education is just is just too low. And a lot of people can't be taught nothing. And uh, it, it, it just, man, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not saying I'm getting out of the trucking on YouTube. I'm just saying I want to try something new, trying to find a new audience so I can grow. Because I'm on here, you guessed it, for the money. A lot of people don't like the way that I said that. I drive trucks. Guess why I drive trucks? No, it's not for the lifestyle. It's for the check. You'll figure it out one day. Now, wait a minute. I'm not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Something just crossed my mind. Let's go back to the title. For the people that's got mortgages, would you get a mortgage on a house? Let's say $250,000 house. Would you go 30 years and at the end of the 30 years tell the bank you keep the deed? You, you keep the deed. We're going to start all over. We're going to start all over over here with Mr. Charlie. You're you going to go 30 more? You, you, so you, you're going to get a... You're going to start all... Hey, hey, well... It's, hey, if you don't want the deed, baby, we will be glad. The bank will be glad to keep the deed. $250,000. Okay. You wouldn't do that, huh? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. So why on earth, in the trucking world, would you go four years... <laughs> Four years in a lease purchase program. Pay two hundred some thousand dollars on the truck. And at the end of the lease, tell them, hey, man, you know what, man? I, I don't want the title. Yeah, I don't want the title, man. No. Man, just give me the... What, what y'all off if I don't take the title? You, you, you gonna give me another truck? I take the other truck. You keep the title, I take the other truck. Matter of fact, do y'all offer some type of completion bonus? G give me the Give me the 15000 on a truck that's four years old? Did nobody educate you? You got a truck that's four years old, damn near 200, 300,000 miles? Do you not know you can take the title, go to the auction, get damn near $70,000 for the truck? This is so sad, the truck drivers think, that's why I don't want nothing to do with it.